What's up, YouTube? Mojo Casham here. We got a little walkthrough video I'm going to do for you. We've got a whole bunch of EXP blocks here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. And working on the twelfth. Once that's completely full, I'll make a, a, a platform or something cool out of, out of all those. Um, for the EXP, I've got the little shower. The EXP shower there. Got the laser drills set up over here. I've switched from the reactor power, which sucks because I don't like running conduit all over the map. So I've switched over to building these little solar panels. Um, it's way more convenient. I can just move the solar panel to where I need them. This system right here, I've got it shut off. Other than a couple of ores that go through that still the rest of it gets pulverized that way I can get the pulverized dusts so I can make my invar ingots and stuff like that um, I have this shut off right now but this right here is just my sifting system goes from cobblestone to gravel to sand doesn't have any sand in it right now um, put in the elevator system for it Choo -choo. Okay, I've added a, another alloy smelter. I've got the two of them there. Um, I run, I run two of them, so I can have glass a whole lot faster. I need the 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 glass so I can make the solar panels. You need a ton of mirrors and all that shit. Um, I've got a blaze spawner in here. And I run the blaze spawner in there. It's got the spots that can be lit up right there. I need to add a little more light. The reason why I need the, the more light for it is because if you have... Just move this light over. If you have the spots in there, anything can spawn. A creeper will come in there. If the creeper gets in there, when you go in there, he'll explode and break your spawner. I had five of them for the achievement, or for the whatever the hell, for the goal. But you gotta, um, you gotta make the dollies for that to, to pick them up. The dollies are very simple, just search dolly. You gotta make your red dollies first, iron, wood, and then three diamonds along the bottom. We'll turn that one into that into a diamond dolly and then once it's a diamond dolly you can go to the nether and find your blaze spawners and bring them back um, one at a time it does slow you down quite bad <laughs> I think it cuts your speed in half but anyway I'm not a fan of the reactor at all like I said I don't like running the conduit I've already need to take this conduit down this section here break that down and move one of my solar panels to right here in this corner and make sure it can see the sky when you have them if they're down here it won't be able to see the sky and it'll slowly stop charging anything a uh, little bit of zombie meat or zombie flesh i guess come over here but you just take your zombie flesh take your zombie flesh you can just keep making dirt with that it's a good, really good use for zombie flesh I need to add another barrel I just took it out so I could go directly from the smelter and go directly from the smelter to the ME system to take it through to one little guide here on this, if you add the import bus, it'll put it right into the ME system. <clears throat> if you add these accelerator cards, it'll go, it'll extract it a whole lot faster with <clears throat> without them. When you have um, everything going into that, I, everything I have that I, I want in there goes directly to that. 
um, to filter out shit I don't want. I just added a whole bunch of these instead of adding a million filters. I don't like that. I, I want a filter system that if I put a item in the filter, then it deletes that item automatically. Not I have to put everything I want to keep in there so it filters out what I want. I want it to filter out what I don't want. So I just use a system like this. Everything on the top here doesn't go into the ME system directly because once it's done, I want it to delete it. These don't go through. But like my electric steel, I can take that and go up and just put it in there by hand. Arrows, I don't want billions of arrows. I don't want billions of spider eyes. Once that's full, it's just full. But everything else, diamonds, emeralds, ender eyes, all that stuff that's coming from the mob farm that I want. And that comes from the bags, which you can see the bags. There's a um, couple of new bags they've added, but I don't want anything that's in those bags. But I just put that, all the bags will get extracted and placed into here, into the on, autonomous activator. It has to be on sneak. And then it'll automatically spit it, out, spit it back out. But as you can see, they come into here, and then it gets spit out and goes back up to here and goes into this chest, and this chest is linked also to the mob form up there and it'll spit it out so it'll drop the bags here and then spit everything else that out there these right here all my ores once they're done going through that system they'll get spit into there and all of that including everything from the mob farm that I do want that I don't want to go to the barrels for will all go to this chest right here and then with that import bus and the acceleration cards it'll automatically put it right into the ME system. So there's less running around for all that stuff, and it'll automatically just come in here. Um, that's pretty much everything I've got so far. The furnaces are way overrated. If you can use the smeltery, or the, not the, yeah, the alloy smeltery, that's definitely a better way to go. One last thing before we go if you go to kill the ender dragon make sure that you have the ability to kill him and withstand him because if you go there there's no way to come back unless you kill him once you kill him then it will create a little portal with an egg on top we'll just go ahead and go in there once you go kill him then it's the basically considered the end of the game and you can come in here and build out away from where the ender dragon was and make sure you have a spot loader or a chunk loader for your... Because on the other side, you have to have a, a, the chunk loader for the, the ender chest. On the other side, if you don't have that chest loaded on the other side, then that chest will just fill up. So if you go AFK, you'll come back to a full chest and, and items just spitting out. I have a couple of fans facing just to blow the EXP out because I don't want to collect it here. But I want them to die faster, so I use the diamond spikes instead of the iron ones. But that that one does kill them a little bit faster, and it'll spit them into here. For those, I'll show you the portal. This you have to if you don't kill the Ender Dragon, you don't get the portal back, and then you've got to go through building. Uh, another portal to get the hell out of here and then it'll just take you to another and then you got to find your portal but it'll create that portal there most of you probably already know that but I have had people ask me that question of how the hell I get out of here and it'll just put me here so you can go in and out of there you can go in there and set AFK on a, an ender farm so you can get more ender pearls than what comes through here. I use them for the, the eye of ender um, which requires blaze rods and that's why I have that blaze farm over here so I can kill them. I will add later when I get rid of this and extend this down I'll add a automatic blaze spawner up there so I'll, I'll, they'll just drop down in the system and other than that, I, I don't really have anything else to tell you. 
So I'll talk to you later. See you guys in the next video. Um, like, subscribe, follow, do all that stuff. And I appreciate the view.